high pressure drop in your serpentine tubes? Don't rush to redesign just yet. Our solution hinges on one core metric. How much thermal headroom do you have? If you have thermal margin to spare, our strategy is to shorten the path. Since we don't need to chase extreme heat transfer, we prioritize shortening the coolant loop. For example, switching from single row winding to a double row sandwich. The logic is, we physically slash the flow length and cut local resistance. The pressure drop naturally falls. But if your thermals are already hitting the ceiling, our strategy is to swap the space. At this point, stop trying to force feed flow into skinny tubes. We would recommend using parallel side liquid cooling. The logic is, we replace narrow tubes with a wider, effective flow cross-section, completely opening up the design window for pressure drop. Want to know if your project needs streamlining or upgrading? Drop a comment or DM me these three numbers. Target heat load, flow tar pressure requirements, and available space.